Hello all, it's me again. Yes, I'm back for some more JU87 Stukes. I'm still uh, trying this out and exploring some of the options here. And uh, David Heath had, has suggested that I try a naval mission. So let's uh, let's see what we have here. So you know you're going to get your stamina ready. I'm still I have not uh, advanced my uh, pilot yet. I'm still just playing with it as the starter. So I'm on this first card here um, and have, I'm just basically a wingman at this point. Um, if you were going to do a naval mission, I thought I'd do the Mediterranean here and take a look at what we get. Uh, with that, you, with the naval mission though, you need to take your flight cards and add in the naval cards here. So there's, these are, let's see, FC 56 to FC 61 there. So I'm gonna need to shuffle those in. And as I'm shuffling in, let's take a look at, um, let me put these down here so they don't fly all over the place. Let's take a look at our missions there. So um, what I'm going to do for selection of the mission is I got to uh, uh, do a D6. So that means I'll draw a flight card and see what I get. You know, remember on the flight cards, you have, uh, you have D6s and you have uh, D12s on there. So let's shuffle these up a little bit, randomize them. And then we'll see what mission we get for our selection here. So make sure I this shuffled up really well. And then what we do here is whoopsie daisy. We put the flight cards there. And we draw a flight card. And it is a one, if you can see that there. So our first, our, our mission one is mission one. Imagine that. So we're going to have three approaches and two return to base. And then it's two sorties. So then we're going to have to, uh, this is something I haven't done in the, in the I didn't uh, get to this in the previous one because it was one sortie, but then we're going to have to do a refuel and then fly back out and do three approaches and two return to base again. Our main objective is a merchant ship. Our enemy presence is five plus, so I'll take a marker here. And enemy fighters, well, it's five plus, so I wonder where I mark that at. I don't see that on here. I'll have to think about that. We'll just have to keep, remember, uh, keep that in mind here. Um, our strength is zero. We need to get three objective cards, two searching, one target, and then... Uh, fighter support is one. So I think we can do that right there. Put that uh, for fighter support one there. So uh, let's do the, uh, we got to do one target reached. And then the rest are the searching cards on these objectives. So we'll shuffle those up. So we do the fighter uh, one objective. And it says I need to have two searching. There you go, there, and then we shuffle these up. Did you guys follow that? I feel like we're playing three card Monty. We put that in the objective cards there. Then for the target cards, we need to find a merchant ship. And it's merchant ship one. So we have that there. It's gonna have zero uh, anti-aircraft. That's good for us, and then if it's damaged, you get a one victory point. If it's destroyed, you get three. Uh, if we drop a thousand pound bomb, we get a plus one uh, dice roll modifier. You get zero modifiers for a 500, and 250s are at minus one. So, um, yeah. If you drop three plus, you get a plus one. So let's do a thousand pound bomb. How about that? Why don't we why don't we do that? So we look at our plane. I'm using the JU 87B2 because that was the um 
where did I find that at? I saw that somewhere on the type of planes for uh, this kind of mission. Oh, that, I probably looked at the uh, theater card that said the, these were the type of planes that were used in the uh, in in the Mediterranean. So I can do a thousand a uh, bomb, a thousand a pound of bomb there. It's in red. If you if the asterisk means that if I do the thousand, I can't put any bombs on the wing. Uh, but what does the, oh, the red is heavy load. So I'm going to have some special rules there. I'll have to read up on that for heavy load. So I need to put a thousand pound bomb there. Let's get a thousand pound bomb out of here. There's one in the, in my little baggie. That I, I'm trying hard to get these out of here. Do, 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 do. Thick fingers, little bag. This is what you get in this here. Huh, okay. All right, so that will go in my thousand pound bomb there. So I'll at least have a die roll modifier when I go in there. Um, you know, thinking about that, uh, but we're going to do two sorties, though, right? So maybe I should do two 500s. Hmm. I'll just do 1,000 pounds. I, I don't know what I'm going to do for that second sortie. I'm going to have to read up on that as well. Anyway, so now we... Um, Draw our action cards here. Shuffle those up. See what we have for action cards here. We're gonna draw five of those. Pull this down a little bit here so you can see these. We've got a one, we've got a two, we've got another one, we've got a two, and we have a two there. See what those are. We've got some evade, strafe, uh, pull up. The pull ups, I probably want to keep that one. Save that one. We got a dive. So we got dive and pull up. Those might come in useful. And this is a plus to pull up as well. So there we have that. Now we got to figure out our altitude. And we're going to have to uh, draw on the weather table here. We draw another flight card, which is a four. As you can see right there, which puts us at out two. So let's look at the out two cards. Where did I put the out two cards? Here we go. So we've got out one, out two, altitude two right there. So we put that here. And we're not at high altitude yet because we need to take off. I think I've done all the stuff that I need to do to prep this. So now we need to look at, uh, we need to go to takeoff. I believe that's our next step here. Do, 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 takeoff. So we, it's a, it's a D12 there. So we flip this card over here. And it is a five, so nothing. Oh, no, sorry, D12. This is an 8. Nothing. Still nothing. Good. So take off is fine. So now we're in the air. We're at high altitude. I'll take a look at that card real quick here. See if there's anything I need to know about this. Okay. So we're at a high altitude. Now we, um, now we have to do our approaches. And if you see the... Uh, Flight cards here, approach is three plus, so we got or three, so we gotta do three approaches. So let's draw the first approach. And oh, we got a naval card. Approach, and this so this applies to both approach and return to base. Increase enemy presence. Increase by one the enemy strength and add one DM plus one DM to the enemy contact check. Oh well, that's awesome because we're already at Enemy presence is five plus, right? So, uh, 
Yeah, so that means we're at six plus. I don't. I wonder if we keep track of that. I don't know if I saw a modifier for that in one of the counters. Looking at the different counters here. Not sure if I saw that there or how you keep track of that. Anyhow, so now we've got, uh, we've increased presence. So that's one approach. We've got to go to our second approach, which is visibility improve. Well, that's good. So we've already got good visibility there. And then we go to our third approach card, which is AA defenses, execute one flak. So now we're going to turn to our flak chart and we're, there's here's the flak check it's a d6 altitude can affect it let's see what is the altitude we're at high altitude so do, 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 do. so no modifier if we we're at low altitude that would affect the uh, flak that'd get plus one to flak so we're at high altitude so we do a d6 here Flip this card over here, and it is a five. So five is uh, structural damage, reduce formation efficiency by one. We don't have to worry about formation because uh, right here we ignore any reference to formations because we're just a wingman. We have limited responsibility. So, um, yeah, so we got a five here. So structural damage. So now we've got to go to a... Structural damage. Give me a second here. So I'm back here. So on damage, you have three pools. You're going to have either structural damage, engine damage, or tail damage. Those are the three sections. You do three different pools, uh, cups, you know, opaque containers, or whatever you want to use for that. Then you're going to draw from that and put it where it uh, where it belongs on the plane here. So let's get the plane out here. I'm going to draw from my structural cup. So this is structural. Flip it over and it's just straight structural. So I will put that. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference where you put that at, but I'll put it right there. So we we mark our damage, and now we've done um, our one two three approaches so now we are over the target uh, and we need to make a decision of or well, we need to see if we find the target so we go to the objective card here oh wait a second we first we do let's see here let's get to um well yeah we got to see if we find it first right before we can do a, a bombing run so we look at the objective card target reach look at that i did not set that up that's nice Target reached. So now we go into our process for doing the bomb attack. So the first thing we need to do is we select the release height. You have the base, which gives you plus one to pull up, but doesn't give you any uh, benefit on uh, the release. Near gives you plus one to release and minus one to pull up. So it helps you with the release and not too bad on the pull up. And lowest is plus three to release, but you got a minus three to pull up. So uh, we got one big bomb here. Uh, let's go all out. Let's do the lowest because I've got uh, a three on my pull up there that I can use in the card. So uh, we're going to do plus three lowest altitude. So first thing we do is our dive. Uh, we check the visibility, formation, altitude. I think we're all fine there. So we got to do a four plus check on um, on our dive. And so that is a D6. And I want to keep this out for the pull up. And I want to keep this out for the dive. We might end up using one of those one or twos there when we do here. So let's pull this, pull this up here and see what we get. We've got a one. That's not very good. So whatever card I'm going to use is not going to be helpful there. So 
we have a failure. Houston, we have a failure. So that's going to be minus two to release. So now we're, we have a plus three to release, minus two. So we've got only a plus one, have only a plus one. Let's do AA fire here. That is a D6. And uh, the AA over the target is zero. So that is good for us. And then we, we can spend, uh, we get a minus one if we spend two stamina. You know what? I'm not going to save the stamina. Even though we have to do two sorties, I'm going to go ahead and spend that. So I'm putting that over there. And uh, da, 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 da. let's see here. So we get minus one and let's uh, pull a D6. Let's see what we get here. Where's that one when I needed it? And we have a one. There we go. It's a one. You can see it there. Did not make that up. So that's good. So we have nothing there. Then we go to bomb release. Bomb release is a four check. We've got a plus one to the, um, we have a plus one uh, because we, we failed on the dive. I should have used that plus on the dive there. I should have used that plus three. That would have been not a failure. Well, too late messed up so we got a plus one on the dive do, do, do. and i can always use a uh i can use that plus two there so let's uh let's see what we do on the release we've got a got to do a four plus it's on a d6 let's draw a card here we've got a three uh ba -ba. and i'm going to use this two here so um, put, put it off the side there. So that's a two. So that's a five. So we have a hit. So we have a hit on the release or we have a release. We have uh, we have a hit. Right. So now we have to see um, what kind of damage we did. So with the thousand pound bomb, we'll put that off to the side there. We get a plus one to hit, and you add the plus one to the, you use the bomb release, which was a uh, five, so now we have a six, so target destroyed. So we have a target destroyed. Awesome. I gotta get a target destroyed counter out. That's good. I still don't know what I'm going to do on the uh, on the second sortie. Oh, unless I, I guess I can get another bomb. Maybe maybe I can do that on the second sortie. Anyway, so now we got to do the pull up. So did good with the target, but are we going to end up with the target? Uh, I am going to use the where is the pull up? I've got a pull up three right here. So I'm probably going to use that. And see what we got to do for a pull up. So pull up is a check four, so that is a D6. I have no engine damage. I don't have any AA points. So this is a card pull plus three due to the uh, pull up there. So let's pull the card pull here. Three plus three is six. Uh, oh, but we had the minus three to pull up. So that's a three. I need a four. Let's add in this uh, plus one to pull up there. So there we go. Oh, I think I have to spend. Uh, well, another thing, too, is I can always spend uh, stamina and add an extra card there. But I'll just do that. So that gives us a four. So successfully pull up. So, so far, so good. I'm probably messing some stuff up, but it's been a while since I played this. Um, I've had it on my table. But I've been pushing other things around. So now we uh, do our, um, well, wait a second. I think we, after you do attack, we draw action cards equal to our engine power. Our engine power is two over here. Let's go over here. Engine power is two. So I get to draw two action cards. We get a one. And we get another one. Okay. So then we have to do the return to base. So here's the return. And if you remember our mission, we've got to do two return to bases. Here we go. Pull a flight card here. 
Return to base, position check. Check four plus or discard one random card. All right, so let's do, I've got to do a, a check of four. Let's draw a card here. And it's a one, not even close, so i got to discard a random card. So we take these and we randomize these. Voila, it's a one. All right, so that's out of the way. We still have our three cards there. Not much to go on, but that's what we got. Now we have to do another return to base. So we have two return to bases there. So let's do another return to base. Boom. Return to base is uh, nothing. Look at that. Nothing going there. So we are all good there. Now, we got to go on a second sortie. So let me take a second here. All right. So we go to page 31 here of the book and it talks about refuel. So, because we got to do a second sortie. So, uh, if the mission requires multiple sorties after return to the base, you must complete the refuel stage. Draw two cards up to the maximum hand size. So we can draw two cards here, get back up to five. And they're wonderful. Execute one repair action. So what we do here in a repair is, let's find that on here. A repair is a D6. So we, excuse me, draw the next card, then reshuffle. So let's draw the next card. Then we'll reshuffle. We're going to reshuffle in anyway. So we got a six here. So the six on repair, discard two damage counter and improve the formation efficiency. Well, we ignore efficiency, but we get to reduce, we get to remove one damage card here. So there we go. That comes off there. Now we discard all objective cards on the table. So all objective cards come off. Also, we shuffle all flight cards back into the deck here. And we can go back out to our primary target, but since our primary target's destroyed, we're going to have to roll for a secondary target. And we'll be looking at this chart here for a secondary target there. So let's figure out what our secondary target is. So we gotta randomize these cards a little bit here. Shuffle them up good. You guys can critique my shuffling skills all you want. And then we go for the secondary target, which is, oh, is a three, which is Merchant Ship 2. So we're going to be going for Merchant Ship 2. Let's go in here and find Merchant Ship 2. Here's my deck of targets here. Battleship, heavy tanks, dock ships. Did I miss it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Must have missed it. Is it on the back? Nope, it's not on the back. I'm sure there's a merchant ship too in here. There it is, Merchant Ship 2. So, and then we also, I did read the rules, we also get to pick new ordinances. I can't go out without my bomb. So, uh, let's do the 1,000 again. So, because you get a plus 1 to hit. This one's got one flak, though, and gives you 2 and 4 on the uh, matrix. So, let's get our... Oh, I, I didn't get my stamina back, too. So I'm going to put a 1,000-pound bomb on there. I didn't read the rules on heavy load, so I might take a look at that. I probably did that wrong, but uh, sue me. Uh, so I do need to read up on heavy load. Uh, you also get uh, recover two stamina. So I get two of my stamina back here. And then we, we're going to have to take off again. We will have to determine... Um, I think the altitude stays the same. I don't think we have to change the altitude. Um, yeah, because I mean it's I th I mean, the, the the weather I think is the same. We're just gonna go with that. So, 
But I, I, now I have to go back to the takeoff stage again. So we go back to, oh no, I got to do my, again, objectives is two with one, uh, one target reach. So we got our one target reach. I've got to get my objective cards again and shuffle these up. Put two down. So we got three objective cards again, three card Monty again. I'm gonna look away, so only you guys will know where I, where I stand there. So those go there. Now we go back to our takeoff again. So we do this all again. Takeoff as a D12 check. Pull this, we get a one on the D12. That sounds good. That is nothing. So we took off. So now we're back at high altitude. And now we still have to, we're still on mission one on our second sortie. So we've got to do three approaches. So let's do the first approach here. And it is approach forming up. The planes must play be placed back in formation. Check for, for failure is minus one stamina. So I've got to do a check here. And I get, um, if it's a four plus, I lose a stamina. If, if, I, if it's not four plus, I lose a stamina. And it is a four. Good, I don't lose any stamina. Oh, that goes over here. Now we do our second approach. We've got to do three approaches. Our second approach is, oh, I, I got an opportunity target here. So I've got uh, opportunity target, a merchant ship one or a merchant ship two. Uh, I need to read up on opportunity targets. Give me a second. All right. Opportunity target is on page 35. This event represents the sighting of a target of an opportunity. If you decide to attack this target, take the corresponding target card and proceed with the special stage. At the end, you go back to where you were. However, I only got one bomb, right? We only have one bomb. I don't, I regret, but I only have one bomb to give to my target. So I'm going to keep that there I'm gonna skip the opportunity because I don't want to, I want to save my bomb for the target plus uh, I did read I, I think the heavy load that we have here is it's minus one to evade I think that's what that means so I'm gonna if I have to evade I'm gonna have a minus one on that that's what I'm that's what I think it is that's what I'm doing uh, and uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it so where are we at now so we've done one approach two approach three approach to finish out our mission. Oh, we've got another opportunity target. Well, you know what the heck, I'll see what it is. A battleship, ooh, that's juicy. Not every day you get a battleship. So we uh, we have a one, it is a merchant ship one. I'm sticking with my merchant ship two. Again, I only have one bomb. Now we are over target. So now we go to objective cards. We flip the first objective card over, and we are searching. Execute one flak. Okay, not as lucky this time as we were the first time. So now I got to do a flak, and we are at high altitude, so no modifier there. Flak is a D6. Let's flip a card over. Oh, that can't be good. Flak is D6. Six is fighter squadron support reduced by one. Well, there we go. So that goes there. Fighter squadron support is there. Uh, okay, so now we go to the second objective card. And we are enemy reached. All right, so now we're back to our glorious uh, bomb attack. You know, I'm not going to do the all in. I, I have a, well, I got, I got a three to dive, two to evade, two to strafe, two to evade and three to navigation and a plus one to hit and that that uh, helps out because you can use that for your for the hit because you can't you're not you can't use uh action cards for the hit so i might want to keep that out for that um i'm gonna go midway so i'm gonna go near this time a little conservative you know i'm gonna i'm trying to protect that thousand pound bomb there so I get a plus one to release, and I get a minus one to pull up. So, uh, so I'm going to do near. I do my dive, which is a check four plus. 
Um, ba, 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 ba. four plus visibility formation altitude, I think is all fine. So yeah, so let's see what we do on the dive here. We've got a two, but you know, I do have this three dive here. So that is five. So that's five. I complete the check. Now I go to AA fire. So let's see what we have going on. And I can spend two stamina again to make that a minus one. Sorry about that. I'm all over the place here now. Let's straighten this out there. I'm trying to hone in on the target. So I pull this out here. AA fire three is uh, minus two is two. So it's nothing. Very good. Now I go to bomb release. Uh, do, 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 release modifiers. No damage. I've got a plus one to release. I got a plus one to release. And I might end up using I gotta I hate I might have to use that 10 there. I mean that that two there. Well let's see what we got here. Um I can spend two stamina and draw a card blindly. Let's see what I got for release. I've got a two on release, as you can see there. So that gives me a two, plus one is three, plus, um, let's go plus one, is uh, four. So that gives me a four. Um, I'm going to spend, I think you spend uh, two stamina, is it two or one? to get a draw another card. I'm going to spend two, draw a card blindly, and it's a three. Look at that. So that that is definitely, so that puts me up to a, I was at a four, so I'm at seven on the success. So now I do hit. So I look at what I, I was at seven. So I've, I've got target destroyed. So that target is, to, oh, I didn't do AA. Doggone it. Well, I did the AA. It was a two plus one, so it was three. So still nothing on the AA. I always forget the AA. Um, I always forget the AA. Anyway, all right. So now we're good. So we got a successful target. Now we got a pull up. Our pull up is minus one. Uh, minus one on the pull up, and I don't really have anything. Um, I'm gonna use this card to help me with the pull up. And I got a five. So five plus two is seven. I successfully pulled up. Now it is back to base. Well, first of all, I draw action cards equal to my engine. My engine power is two, so I get two more action cards. I've got a one, and I've got a zero. God, you gotta love the zero. Okay, so now we're back to the uh, return to base. I gotta do two return to base. Let's see how I do. First one, return to base. <laughs> Love it. Nothing going there. Smooth selling. Oh, don't don't jinx it. And then my second return to base is return to base. Very nice. There you have it. I know this was a little bit quick and dirty, but uh, uh, I've 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 only played this a handful of times, and I'm starting to pick it up. I try, I was trying to play this without referring to the rules as much but i'll as you can see i've referred to a few but that was mainly to, that was for you that was for you that wasn't as much for that wasn't for me that was for you anyway there you have it that is uh mission number one of the mediterranean 1941 to 1942 i probably still don't have it all down yet but the main thing i wanted to show you is that this is a relatively fluid and quick game to play uh i mean i just did two sorties uh, went through this relatively quickly, had to do a little bit of rules reference, uh, but for the most part, this is kind of how it plays. I mean, your mileage may vary a little bit, but this is kind of how it plays. I'm going to do some more on this. I might do a campaign. I might try to do a little bit of an extended uh, campaign. Uh, I don't know if I want to film all that, uh, but I'm still uh, I'm still learning this. I, I want to flip this card over or get to the next card. Ooh, look at that. There goes my stamina. I want to get to the next uh uh, advance, get a promotion, and then um, get uh, either get some new skills because I get four for this, and I had some for my last. Well, that was a different mission, but I get four skills for that, so I can start buying some stuff now. Maybe if if, if I got enough, 
but I want to get in a promotion so you can see some of the formation stuff. I want to try some of that out as well. But anyway, for another day, uh, this will be left on my table and uh, I'll get to it. But uh, anyway, that's what I have for you today. Love to know your thoughts. Uh, I'll keep plugging away. Uh, this is on um, GameFound, I think. Is that where I think that's where they where they have this at? I'll put a link to it in my description so you can check it out. But uh, if you're interested in this kind of game and in, in, in a little bit something different than just a uh, roll dice and check a chart, there is there's some of that, but there's a lot of card play and a lot of decisions in this space here. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.